All right, rippers. How's it going? It's good to see you. Let me get seated here, get a glass of water. It's good to stay hydrated. If you guys are feeling a little bit, say, fatigued or wore out, it's probably because you're dehydrated. I'm real bad about that. And it can start to cause some real problems. I can be guarantee it, that to you for sure. All right, so let's talk. What is today? Today is Sunday. What is Sunday good for? Well, Sunday's good for sleeping in and getting some rest and regenerating, right? It's also good for getting things done and chores that you need to get done that are on your to-do list, Whoosh, right? It's also a time to reflect on the week past and what you could have done better or what you did that you're really proud of, right? And then with that information, be able to look forward into the week coming and decide what you're going to do to be the best you can be and help who you can as well as yourself, right? Doing the things. Uh, and then what we've got is, is it's a time to build our faith, right? To look inward, upward, and outward to how we can better ourselves there, right? Okay, so that being said, I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. You can see we finally got our table in. That was months and months and months ago we ordered it. We were just about ready to give up and just put a blanket on the floor and start eating on the floor, right? That's what they do in other countries. Anyway, save a bunch of money. Um, but the missus is happy and that's a good thing. So there you have it. Uh, I just say yes, ma'am, as long as she's smiling, which is few and far between. Just kidding. Anyway, we got some boxes back there too because we were putting things back in there as well as... Uh, getting other things sorted out, organized, what's going away on yard sales and all that kind of good stuff that's good to do on a Sunday. But I wanted to take a minute to share with you guys something else good to do on a Sunday and that's look for bargains, right? And now if you guys remember, I have this favorite flashlight of mine that's kind of got all the words wore off of it and remember I put magnets on it. You can check back in videos in the past in this. And no, this isn't a video just back on this again, so don't click off yet. You've got some cool things here that you want to see. Uh, but that being said, uh, you remember it was the one that has like all the different functions, makes it like a lantern and fits in my pocket and hasn't broke yet. This is really awesome. Well, I come to find out that they are discontinuing some of their line, right? Now, some of it is due to supply issues and stuff like that, shipping issues, all that good stuff, that happy horse shit they feed us, right? And then some of it is because they're probably going to try and update, they said, some of their models and come out with some newer stuff, Right if they can manage to get what they need to to make them. At least that's what I was told. So that being said, I started to look around because I thought to myself, I give these out as gifts sometimes during Christmas, birthdays, and things like that to people to get them thinking about being prepared because they may not carry it in their pocket like I do at first, but they definitely will use it because I use mine all the time. And when they do, they'll really think about it and they'll really then start carrying it, right? And then they'll start calling you, asking you more about what they should be doing to be prepared because you were right. This was handy, right? That's a good thing. So that's what I mean. If you're looking for an icebreaker with your family, something like this really is because they'll every time they use it, which they will, they'll say, wow, that was really a cool gift and a good idea. And maybe my family member isn't as nutso as we think. So that being said, I was out there looking for them so that I could put a few back before there are none out there. And I found out that they're actually clearancing them. And I missed a clearance for $6 a piece for a $13 flashlight, right? So I was like bummed out. But then I found it Menards, which we don't have here, but it's got it online, right? I found it for $7 a piece, but they only had it in red. So some of the colors you might have to hunt around to find, but if I was you, I'd just get whatever color they had because they're all cool, right? But they had a bunch of these red ones. So I ordered four of these red ones. One, so I could have one as a replacement in case mine ever lets loose. And two, so I have a few more gifts to give away come in the future somebody that we haven't given a gift for or seen in a while, family member, things like that. So as you can see, it's the same sort of, oop, get it out here. Same flashlight with all the same functions, takes AA battery. I haven't put it in here yet though. And it has the little rubber bungee for putting around a limb or something to hold it. And then as you know, you do the magnet type uh, modification right there so you can stick it to things, right? So, I think the red's pretty cool, actually. So, uh, anyway, got some of these, $7 a piece. That wasn't bad. And uh, I'll give you the specs on it real quick since I have them. On low, this thing is 34 lumens and will last for four hours on a double one AA battery. On high, it's 110 lumens, 
which will last 2.5 hours, which is just fine. And on the strobe feature, it'll last seven hours. Now it doesn't say the lumens on the strobe feature, but it'll last seven hours. And it, that's in lantern or flashlight mode, right? Uh, so that being said, that's not too bad to have for something in your pocket, gives you plenty of light. I can tell you that. So that is of course the Uko. Here's your screenshots section right there. Your Uko Lishi, that's the type, right? That's what it looks like. So while I was out there looking though, I found some new ones. Check this out. It's the Claris and the Claris 2. And I think this is a Claris or it might be the Claris 2. But anyway, it's essentially the same thing. So look, there's your screenshot. Anyway, it's the same thing, but it's just a little bigger brother, right? It's not a whole lot bigger, but it's not something you'd really carry in your pocket because it's not all streamlined. It's got some harder edges on it. But instead of having the strap, they got a D-ring on it for that you can take this, hang it as a lantern in the top of your tent, right? Or you can set it down and use it as a flashlight and set it down. Now, of course, you know Rip Curl is going to stick some magnets on here and figure out what he has to use, what kind of magnets, how many, to get it to not only stick like this, so you can aim it, right? But also maybe along the bottom so you can stick it like that, right? Because we like to stick it. Anyway, stick it like that so you can have it as a lantern. So you can hang it in the tent, put it on there on the table if you're looking at maps and things. It really is a handy light. It is well built. Um, some The way the features work on it is you got your your uh, your high. Your I think this has a medium and a flash. Medium. That's low. And then... We'll get the flash here and strobe in a minute. There you go. It's got the strobe. So now, that being said, on low, it's three lumens, which is plenty to read maps and things like that with, or just left enough light in your tent to do things you need to do if you're out camping or surviving in a shelter. That'll last for 130 hours. That's pretty darn good. It runs on three AAA batteries. Uh, medium is 60 lumens, lasts for 15 hours, and high is 118 lumens, lasts for five hours. So that's not too bad. And then on strobe, it's 60 lumens and lasts for 230 hours, right? So that gives people plenty of time to see you at night because that's many nights because you wouldn't have it running all day and night, right? Um, but that's a pretty decent thing. And this is easily something that could fit in your pack, right? Your, your bug out, go to, get out, whatever you want to call it, pack, right? Escape and evade, you know, get home bag, whatever, in your car, vehicle, you might even want to get a few, right? Not only for just your pack and whatnot, but for your vehicles and all that kind of stuff. So this was like $13 and change, right? Normally, I think 20 something bucks or something like that. So honestly, it's just barely more money than what the original price was on this. So now this one I got at Menards, but this next, this one and the next one coming up, I got at, uh, Beagle.com. Now they also have them in places like uh, Cavestock.com, and there's a bunch of other ones out there. You can find them at Sportsman's.com if they still have them in stock. REI.com. But you want to be looking for the sales, right? So you can get them on clearance because they're clearancing this one out as well. So that being said, they have it in some different colors, but orange seems to be the one they have the most of. So that's a that's a good idea. Now. So we'll put these out here like this. Now, here's the next one. This one is called the Pika. Now, as you can see, well, we'll show you here in a minute. So this one's the Pika. We'll get it out. And what makes the Pika special is it has a cord with it. And we'll explain the cord in a minute. So as you can see, the Pika has got a little bit more shape to it. Maybe a little clearer area in the bulb here. And uh, it's a little bigger than this one in diameter and, and uh, height and, and not much in height, but in width too. So what you got here is this one is rechargeable and not only is it rechargeable with a usb charger that you can plug into your phone brick or you know uh, ipad charging brick or whatever but it's also got an out port that will charge as a charging block so you can use this if your phone out in a survival situation is going dead you can tap some of the power off of this into your phone that's a plus now what i did find is is that it uses that kind of connection. This is the kind that goes for most other things except for an iPhone, of course, because iPhone's got to be that way. 
So I'd have to go out and get an adapter for a, what do they call those, lightning links or whatever. Not lightning link, but you know what I mean. The iPhone kind of port. Put it down in the comments if you know the name, but I'm going to have to get me an adapter. So that's the only thing I would comment on this besides the magnets that I would do differently is have some adapters. But still, very handy to be able to have it as a charging brick. Also something that would fit in your pack easily or in your car. Has a D-ring to hang it so you can hang it in a tent or in your rig if you're broke down. And you can put some magnets on the bottom as well as on the sides to get it to stick like this or like this. Um, neat thing about this is, is it you get this to go on. There you go. So it's got high, which is 150 lumens at four hours. And then you push it and hold it. And as you can see, it starts to fade, 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 fade down to low. So anywhere, so at low, they only give you two readings and low is eight lumens is the lowest and that'll last 80 hours. So that's pretty darn good. Um, and then on strobe feature, it's 60 lumens and it'll last 120 hours. So that's not bad. And then if you take and hold it down, it goes into and let it loose again, it goes into a strobe mode just like the others. So that's pretty darn handy. So that I think is a neat one for a survival bag just because of the fact that you can use it to charge up your phone or other things that you need charging like maybe your USB chargeable arc lighter right maybe it just finally went dead and you need to make another fire you could charge it up so that being said be looking out for these things on sale they're clearancing them because they're closing them out get them for gifts for your family and until next time be safe be secure always be aware of your surroundings and until next time adios